What's up, YouTube family? So guess what? The man Andrew Tate, a.k.a. Top G, has been banned from Facebook and Twitter. Um, This guy doesn't even have a Facebook account for real. Um, No, he's been banned from Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You know, three of the main um, bullshit social media agenda platforms. Let's just let's just call it what it is, you know. You know, I'm on Facebook. I barely ever use Instagram. I do not fuck with Twitter at all. Like I just think it's stupid and fucking pointless. But um for those who don't know who Andrew Tate is, he's been like one of the main spokesmen for masculinity. Um people will say he's toxic. I don't I don't think so. I just think he's just a realist. He's living accordingly to how the world is now and how the modern day dating world is and just how it is, how making money, just really everything, man. Everything's changed. Um, he's a, I wouldn't say he's a rich man, but you know, he definitely got the bag. Um, you know, he, he puts on, he's one of the most viewed, most followed people on TikTok and doesn't even have a fucking TikTok account. That's how powerful the dude is. Like he just, he speaks the fucking truth. You know, I think he does say a lot of things for like shock value. Sometimes he puts on just kind of an act. You know, he's got this whole um, bad boy image kind of going on. Like, you know, he he does a lot of videos, you know, where he'll talk on people's podcasts and, uh, you know, he'll have his shirt off showing his muscles and his tattoos uh, while smoking a cigar. You know, what I mean, which we all know um, being alpha, you know, we don't indulge in those type of intoxications and shit like that. You know, what I mean, but. Or, you know, at least we strive not to. So, you know, like I said, I don't agree with everything he says. I don't agree with everything that any man says. But um, I definitely agree with a lot of the shit he says, just like with Kevin Samuels, man. You know, Andrew Tate is just, he's another type of breed, man. <laughs> like, he's a, um, he was um, a famous kickboxer. You know, he was a, he was a, he was a damn good, good boxer um fighter you know ufc kickboxing stuff like that man so you know he's just he's a he's a very he, he's a very masculine figure in this world and it's and this is a good time that we need this man so this is this is proof that there is a serious attack on masculinity um i uploaded another video earlier but i had to delete the video and this is even before i found out that andrew tate got banned from these platforms um being banned is really a badge of honor now because with all the fuckery, with all this pedophile feminist agenda that they're pushing, that the fucking liberal media and these democratic politicians and these evil ass satanic fucking elites are doing and the shit that they're pushing, we need people like Andrew Tate. So the fact that they ban them kind of really just proves that there is definitely a direct attack on masculinity. Now, it's okay to talk about chopping a little boy's wee-wee off and... Um, giving him surgery to give him a fake vagina and turn him into a little fucking girl. But if a man talks about building muscle and having multiple women and making money and just like that and just being a high value boss alpha male, that's for some reason that's bad and that's toxic and it needs to be banned. You know, this is this is just it's just this bullshit ass narrative, man, that they keep fucking pushing. And honestly, I mean, frankly, man, we're tired of it. But to be honest, most of us here in the manosphere and the whole red pill community. We're celebrating right now because this is this is like this is this is really a good thing. I, I mean, it's it's bad, but it's a good thing because it's just it's proving our point, man. It's 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 clear as day that they they hate masculinity. It ain't even just masculinity; like they hate intelligent men who are not following this bullshit mainstream narrative and this mainstream fucking agenda. They hate it. They hate it so fucking much. This is why. I, I push so hard for this shit. This is why I really, really, really go hard for the manosphere. There's an attack on men, y'all. They hate, they just, they hate men. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these feminist ass, fast ass bitches, they don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear the fact that most of them are really just good for a quick fuck and a toss to the side. You know what I mean? That's, I mean, a lot of these women, they carry themselves like whores. They advertise themselves on social media like whores. They pretty much put themselves out there like prostitutes and they expect men to just respect them. Now, listen, now, you know, I can ex I can respect a woman that has an OnlyFans or a woman that strips, even a woman that tricks or, or, or sells herself. If that's what you do, own that shit. You know what I mean? 
Um, but don't sit there and act like you're wifey material when you do those things. Cause you're not, you're not the best thing you can become is like a sugar baby to a rich nigga like Andrew Tate, which, uh, he does have like, you know, he's got multiple women. He's, he said some shit. Like if a girl does, does, um, only fans, then she has to give me a, uh, like 10% of her profits because she's my property. She, you know, he does, he does say shit like that, but I don't, like I said, I think he does that just to get a reaction from people. But I mean, if that's how he feels, that's how he feels. Niggas like Andrew Tate don't have to. He he ain't putting a gun in these bitches' heads and 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 like forcing them to be with him and to fuck with him. These women choose him. Women women lust after men like Andrew Tate. But when he opens his mouth and says the shit that he says, they tend to hate him for it. Like, why are you hating him for speaking the truth? So. Man, for real, I'm not going to make this video very long, but man, like, honestly, I was going to fuck off on my last video. I'm really, I'm kind of glad this shit happened because it kind of, it really kind of hit me. Like, you know, I need to take this shit down because the last video I made, we could have, yeah, this shit could have got me banned. <laughs> Probably could have got me arrested for all I know. The way they doing this shit now, man, I mean, they just like, they're, they're deleting everybody that's not, um, that's not following this fucking agenda. And um, I'm joining the fight, man. There's a war going on, y'all. Not necessarily, I'm not saying, uh, you know, to prepare for, you know, I'm not saying use violence or anything like that. So I, I want to disclaim that. But I'm just saying, man, we have to, we, we are at a war. We have to fight against the attack against our testosterone, the attacks against our masculine mentalities and everything, man. This is, this is the fight that we have to, we have to join this fight and we have to choose a side on, on which side we're fighting because you got these feminist people you got the lgbt's you got the, these fucking pedophile child groomers and all the whole entire democratic party and the, every fucking liberal media platform is just they're just they're pushing the fuckery and they're trying to eliminate um the masculine mentality man and this is this is going to be the downfall of this country not only the downfall of this country but the downfall of the whole entire fucking world man so, you know, yeah, y'all starting, starting Monday, man, we're going to start getting real, real serious, man. Uh, we're going to talk about a lot of serious shit. It's a lot of shit going on, man. You know, this whole Andrew Tate getting banned shit, this was a big thing. So it, it's not the biggest thing going on, but it, it definitely, it's definitely opened a lot of people's eyes, man. Even, even a lot of feminist groups are starting to see that this shit is just getting out of hand, man. Because he, I mean, the man didn't do nothing wrong. He didn't say anything wrong. He didn't break any laws. He didn't go against any um fucking community standards whatever the fuck meta meta whatever facebook I, i'm just man i'm just i'm done with this shit man i'm over this shit man but you know we're gonna keep the fight going y'all uh monday i'm gonna talk about the difference between being woke and red pill see woke used to be the term for people like me people like andrew tate people like elliot hopes people like kevin samuels you know um um, people like Jordan Peterson, shit like that. Even Alex Jones, even though, yeah, even though Alex Jones is a fucking nutcase, but he, listen, man, he, he spoke about the Jeffrey Epstein shit 10 fucking years ago. So I feel like the mainstream media owes that man a fucking apology because he was, he was speaking on shit that people are just now knowing about and still don't know about this whole Jeffrey Epstein shit is, it's not over, man. A lot of these, um, um, democratic politicians were involved in that shit. Donald Trump was not. Donald, it is clear. Listen, this is a fact. Donald Trump hung out with the man a couple times in the past. You know, I'm sure they partied and fucked with strippers and bitches. But um, he was, Donald Trump is the only fucking politician. He was the only person, the only high profile figure that actually talked to the fucking prosecutors about Jeffrey Epstein. And um, this is a true story. Jeffrey Epstein was at a hotel that Donald Trump owned. And Donald Trump kicked him out. Donald Trump kicked Jeffrey Epstein out for saying some racist shit to one of his employees. So to all you people that say uh, Donald Trump is a racist or Donald Trump was involved with the Epstein, no, he wasn't. They, they, they pushed so much to try to connect Trump with it. But anytime the Clintons' names is brought up, they get quiet. The liberal media ain't saying shit. <laughs> Listen, Fox News is the only network that's talking about the Jeffrey Epstein shit. Ain't that a bitch? That's, that's sad when Fox News is starting to actually make some fucking sense that's bad because fox news has always been one of the most just biased uh right-wing type of uh 
um, media platforms, man. But Fox News is actually just speaking on what the fuck's happening because the left, the left side has gotten so fucking, they have just became a bunch of fucking, it's just a fucking circus. It's a big ass clown show, man. And he's a bunch of evil, satanic, child grooming pedophiles who are trying to turn us all into a bunch of just little feminine little sex slaves for them. That's what the fuck they want us to be, but we ain't about to ever be that shit. So, y'all, um, I know I got damn, I got off topic. Being woke used to be, um, I'm I'm gonna talk about more this Monday, so I don't want to get too much in, but just to give you a little brief little introduction before Monday, being woke used to mean like knowing the truth and seeking the truth and not being blinded by any type of agenda, any type of political agenda or any type of just any type of brainwashing. But now these fucking circus freak child groomers have took the word woke and turned it into some other shit. So I guess being a fucking weirdo and not knowing what gender you are, that's, that's, that's considered woke now. So we had to change the name. Now we are no longer the woke community. They, they, they have hijacked that word. They have stole that term from us. Fuck it. They can have it. Cause guess what? We're red pill. Now red pill is the real term. So when you hear people saying woke, they're talking about some old circus freak bullshit. Just they're, 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 they're talking about some old, just some old degenerate ass fuckery, some old feminism ass pedophile ass agenda. That's what being woke is. So fuck being woke. Now, red pill. When you hear a, a person says somebody's red pill or they're speaking about red pill topics, that's when they're speaking the fucking truth. So, yes, I am a red pill content creator. I have I have made my decision. I have I have joined this fight long time ago, but now I'm being more vocal about it every day. And I'm going to keep expressing this type of energy, man. So, y'all stay red pill and just, you know, man, listen, y'all to all my young men out there, keep striving to be men. You don't have to be toxic. I'm not saying fuck a bunch of bitches. And that's not, there's nothing, that's that's not what being an alpha man is about. Being a man is about being disciplined, being intelligent, uh, you know, being caring for others, taking care of those who, who deserve to be taken care of. Listen, man, to all you women out there who are against the shit that we say, we're trying to help y'all. Y'all say, you know, you say you want a man that's masculine. Y'all tired of these feminine, little soft ass niggas. Y'all tired of these no good ass niggas treating y'all bad. Well, we're trying to put a stop to that. We're trying to teach men how to just be stand up men and how to be alpha, high profile, elite men. Now, if a man wants to choose to sleep around with a bunch of women and be a player boss, you know, like Andrew Tate, that's cool. If he wants to get married and and have a um, monogamous relationship and raise a family like Elliot Hulse, that's fine. But people like Elliot Hulse and Andrew Tate, even though they're kind of like opposites, they're both the same because they're both really speaking about the same shit. They're just speaking about masculinity. There's nothing wrong with being masculine. There's nothing wrong with being a fucking man. The world needs feminine and masculine energy. But right now, it's it's just all feminine energy. That's why, man, for real, even all these little hood rappers is just acting feminine, man. I seen some shit with fucking little, uh, uh, little Uzi Vert. That little punk ass nigga. I fuck him, man. He's a bitch. But little Uzi punk ass, dick sucking, taking dick in the ass ass Vert. I guess they had a, it was a meme with him and, um, what the fuck, one of them, I don't know, man, one of them bitches, Sweetie, one of them old city girl bitches, and he's like, she's talking about, this is how a real man should treat his woman, this nigga's like spending money on her, and just, man, listen, y'all, just, they, they have just, fit, they have turned us into a bunch of just bitches, man, they have turned us into a bunch of soft ass, oh, I need to suck on my mommy's titty ass niggas, man, so fuck this shit, man, Andrew Tate, we rocking with you, dog. <laughs> We are rocking with you, dog, straight up, man. No homo, not, not, not like that, but you are the man right now. You know, they killed, they killed, I know what, I, I really believe that they killed Kevin Samuels now, now that they have uh, silenced Andrew Tate. But, you know, all this did was make the movement stronger, dumbasses. All y'all did was bring us all together. Now, all the Manosphere, Red Pill content creators, we all, man, like, we're all talking about this. This is, this is the talk now within the Manosphere. So, y'all, man, enjoy your weekend. Men, do some push-ups, work out, drink your water, do like, you know what I mean? Do everything to spike your testosterone levels. And we got to fight against this, this, this whole attack against men. I'm going to see y'all Monday, man. Have a great weekend. Men and women, just do the right thing, y'all. Know yourself. Love yourself. Love each other. I love y'all. I'll see y'all Monday. Peace.